Hey Greeley, it, the sun is out, the snow is starting to melt, it's warming up, which means that some of our favorite events that we haven't seen in almost two years are finally coming back. And with me today is Jeffrey Havens, and we're gonna talk about one of those events, which is Baby Animal Days at Centennial Village Museum. Jeffrey, can you kind of talk about how long this event has been happening in the community and what are some of the exciting parts of it that the community can look forward to? Definitely. So this is an event that has been going on for 20, over 20 years. And uh, it is a community favorite because we bring out all sorts of baby animals for the community to come and interact with. So that's uh, goats, lambs, uh, a calf, ducklings, bunnies, uh, chicks. And you can come and get up close and personal with all of these fuzzy, adorable friends of ours, along with uh, take wagon rides on the Saturdays of the event. Uh, we partner with Mountain Shadow Carriages, and you can take a tour of the block around Centennial Village um, pulled by a couple horses, and it's a really neat experience. Um, of course, the grounds are also open, so you can come, walk the grounds, enjoy the nice atmosphere, and if you're a history buff, you can do our online, excuse me, you can do our uh, outdoor exhibit cell phone tour, and uh, really get a taste of the history that Greeley has to offer. Um, if that's not enough, we also are going to have historic games out for the kids, where the kids can come and uh, entertain themselves like their predecessors of early Greeley did. Now, uh, kind of talk about where these animals come from. It's a partnership, right, with the FFA. Yeah, so all of our animals are provided uh, through partnership with FFA of Greeley West High School. And it's a partnership that's been going on for years, and it's absolutely one of our, our favorite partnerships that we have out with the museums. Uh, it's a great relationship that we've built over the years, and we're so excited to have it back at the village this year. And what's also really exciting for visitors uh, to know is some of the animals will actually be staying, right? So once the season starts going, they can come back and check in on them. Yeah, yeah, we keep a number of the animals on site throughout the summer season, so um, you can come see them and, and interact as they grow from babies all the way to, I won't say full-grown adults, but, you know, so they're much bigger and, and have that relationship throughout the summer. It's really kind of fun. Absolutely. So can you just give us some of the specifics, dates, times, and then the price of admission? Sure. So our event runs April 15th and 16th. We take a break for Easter Sunday, and then we're open again on Monday the 18th of April, all the way through Sunday the 24th. Each day we're open 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. And price of admission is $4 for adults, and kids two and under are free. Well, especially for those kids two and under, you, you don't want to miss this event. It is a community favorite. It's coming back after two years baby animals. I can't think of a better way to celebrate spring, but it's also getting ready for one of uh, Centennial Village Museum's second most exciting event of the spring. Can you talk a little bit about Centennial Celebration? Sure. So Centennial Celebration is how we kick off our normal open season. So it is the Saturday of the Memorial Day weekend and kind of announces to the, the city and the region that we are open for business uh, for our summer hours. We're open Fridays and Saturdays. Uh, the, event, the event itself is May the 28th from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. And we will have our historic homes and buildings all open. We'll have uh, staff guides who can take you through those buildings and kind of give you a historic experience. Um, we'll have craft demonstrations going on. And our, our centerpiece for the day is we will have demonstrations by uh, the Buffalo Soldiers who will be coming to demonstrate what life was like as a cavalry soldier, an African-American cavalry soldier on the High Plains back in the 1800s. Well, I know that I didn't know about the Buffalo Soldiers before you kind of gave me that explanation. So what a great experience for those who don't know the history of Weld County and Greeley. Um, that's kind of what Centennial Village is about, is bringing back that history live for everyone to experience. Now, since Centennial Village is kind of the launch of the season, what other teasers can you give us for what else is coming up here? Sure. So we have a couple other of our, our um, familiar traditional events that we're getting ready for this summer and even into the fall and winter. Uh, Pets and Popsicles later in the summertime is always a great uh, chance to say hello and goodbye to our animals one last time before they go home for the rest of the year. Uh, and then towards uh, fall, Halloween is back again, or should I say Halloween is back again, um, with trick-or-treating, historic fall festive activities, and uh, our chance to kind of celebrate fall while it's here in Colorado. Uh, we end the year with Homesteaders Holiday in December with some of our traditional activities, candle making, we'll have live music, and we'll uh, do kind of a historic Christmas celebration to uh, wish the city and its surrounding uh, neighbors happy holidays from our museum system. 
And I know that's a huge tradition for a lot of people in this community. So how exciting to have some of these favorite events coming back. I also heard about something to do with potatoes. Can you kind of explain what that event is? Yeah, Potato Days is our um, partnership event with the Friends of Greeley Museums in September. Uh, it is a major fundraising day for our Friends group, and we partner with them. Uh, you can come out to the village, and in addition to all of the normal historic experiences, uh, enjoy a tasty baked potato to honor some of our history. And I won't tease much more. If you want to know more, you'll have to come to the event and learn. Oh, that's the best way to get people to come, especially when you talk about eating food at it. Um, Jeffrey, thank you so much. I am so excited. I know that the Centennial Village Museum staff is excited. You should be excited for spring and for coming to all these incredible events. So for this and more information, visit GreeleyMuseums.com and be sure to stay on top of things at the City of Greeley Museum's social media pages. Thank you.